I spent a lot of today studying Psalm 46 for the Bible study and it's been a real joy and a thrill for those of you who know it. You won't be surprised that it has been that way to me. And it prompted me to think, well, why don't we for the next few days in these daily devotions, why don't we look at the Psalms, but beginning at the beginning? So today, Psalm 1, um, I'm certainly not promising how far we'll get, though. We'll see how it goes. But it talks right at the beginning of Psalm 1 about someone who's blessed. And in verse 1, we, we, we get reasons how we can continue to be blessed by God by not doing something. And then in verse 2, positively, how we are to do something. To be blessed is to know God's favour, to know his good hand upon you to enjoy his goodness and his smile. And verse one, let me read. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the company of mockers. I don't know if you noticed, but it gradually went from bad to worse. Uh, First of all, someone who keeps in step with the wicked, so tries to follow them, keep up with their ways, Ways that are rebellious and not good and displease God. But then it talks about literally standing. So so stopping and taking stock and literally becoming part of their company. But then finally, we get sitting in the company of mockers. Describing the person that's chosen to actually stop, to sit, to dwell with those that are defying God. And we're told to steer clear of all that type of behaviour. And instead, verse 2, we're told positively to do this. Blessed is the one whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. What a simple but a wonderful instruction if we want to know God's blessing, his favour, have his good hand upon us. We're to not only read his word, to know his word, but it's to be a delight to us. Now, how does God's word, you may say, become a real delight and a real joy? And I would say, well, God tells us in the next part of verse two, by simply meditating on it. To meditate means to stop, to slow down, to reflect, to to ponder over his truths, to chew them over, to think about them, to weigh them up and understand more of their depth and more of their richness so do we want to be blessed i'm sure we all do let's avoid walking standing or sitting with those that in are in rebellion to god but instead let's be those who delight in god's words by not just reading it but by meditating on it, reflecting on it, not rushing over it, or we're going to miss so much that's good for our souls.